Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D text effect using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm just running with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Press OK. Once we have that, all we need to do is drag our footage into the timeline. So I've just got this footage from Pexels. It is 4K, so I need to hit S for scale and just scale it down to 50%. Once I've done that, then what I need to do is I need to add a new text layer and I'm just gonna write my word. Actually, it doesn't even matter about the size, just turn that eye off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another new solid and this is going to be for my element 3D. So just search for the effect called element and yeah, there we go. Now, Element 3D is a paid plugin from Video Copilot. So if you do not have it, please download it before continuing on. Now, once you do have it, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go down to custom layers, custom text and masks, and then you'll need to change the path layer one to our text. And now if you go to scene setup, now you don't see nothing in here because when you go to extrude, now you'll see it in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the extrusion model, go to bevel one. Well, we're just going to extrude it and then we're just gonna maybe expand the edges slightly and maybe even the bevel size. So you can play around with some of those settings. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go into the presets and I'm just gonna double click and add some chrome on there. And I think that's looking pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press okay and take that back into After Effects. Now it's obviously too big, but if we open Open up the group one settings and then go into particle look we can change the particle size and we can maybe put it something like that then i'm going to open up the particle uh, replicator and i'm just going to move it to that side i can move it up and down if i want or even move it back in the z space but i think i'm going to leave it like that i'm just going to change the rotation slightly so maybe i'll do something like that just so the 3D is a little bit more visible. So I think that looks pretty cool. So now we need to make it animate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to this uh, multi object over here and I'm gonna enable it. And so with this, now you can actually start to move the letters, you know, around and all this kind of stuff. And it looks pretty cool. But the one that I'm really interested in is this uh, random uh, multi setting over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold option. I'm gonna hit that stopwatch. I'm gonna write wiggle. Then I'm gonna write 0 0.5 comma, maybe let's say 15. And now if you've done that, now you will have a little bit of movement on the text. The text will kind of wiggle around and I think that looks pretty cool. And there's other options in here that you can change as well. If you wanna change the spacing, um, etc. you know, feel free to play around with some of these uh, settings. So you can even make that wiggle as well. But I'm gonna leave it like that. I've just spaced out the characters a little bit. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come down to the animation engine. And so I'm gonna enable that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the animation. I'm gonna press U on my keyboard to see my keyframes. I'm just gonna change that to 100%. And then I'm going to move it and probably go about one second and then put it to zero. And so now I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I'm just going to change that to, let's say zero, and I'm gonna copy that first keyframe, which will be 100%. And so now we have the animation flying in and then the animation will also fly out over there. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to easy ease those keyframes and then I'm gonna to go to the graph editor and then I'm just going to bring these points a little bit closer together, just like that. And so now there's a little bit more snappiness on that uh, animation. So that's looking pretty cool. Now we have to kind of blend the text into the rest of the environment. So if we come down here to the custom layers and the custom texture maps, if we change the layer one to the background, and then if we go back into our scene setup, and then if we go and scroll down to our environment over here, and if we load the texture to our custom file, now you can see what is actually happening there. So I think that looks pretty cool. And now we've got, you know, the background that kind of blends in with everything else. Now, if you want to change the rotation or anything of that, um, 
environment. If you go down to the render settings, then go into physical environment, rotate environment, you can play around with some of these options to find something that you might like a little bit better. So let's say for example, I want something like that. So now I've, I was able to change the rotation of the environment. So it's still on the same environment, but it just looks a little bit different now. So in order to make that look a little bit better, what we can do is we can add some Lumetri color on this. And if we go into the basic uh, section over here, you can change the temperature if you want, if it doesn't match your color scheme. Um, but we're just gonna bring up the exposure maybe a little bit to like one. Uh, the contrast will bump up to about 50 and we'll also bring up the highlights to about 15. So that's looking pretty cool. Then we can move on and go into the curves. So this is where you can create small little S-bend, something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And then you can play around with some of these hue settings uh, as well. So really depends on your uh, clip, how much you wanna you know, add to this. Um, so yeah, so experiment with some of that stuff as well. So now the next effect that we can add in here is some glow. So I was playing around with uh, the Red Giant plugin. And so there's two different, well, three different types of glows that you could use. But if I use the edge glow, and if I change the color to, let's say something that we have in there, now you can see if I turn it off, it just adds a bit more brightness to it. I think that looks pretty cool. So another effect that we can add in here is some drop shadow as well. And so drop shadow just kind of makes it look a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna up the opacity and I'm just going to up the softness uh, behind it as well. And you can play around with where you wanna actually put it. So maybe I'm gonna put it somewhere like that. So I think that does make a pretty big difference. So you should really have a look at that. The other thing uh, in here is now if we create a glow on the edge and we can do this by duplicating that layer and then adding an effect in here which is called find edges and if I want to invert that now I've got that edge over there but also I would need to add a tint effect here so if I add uh, tint in there if I just change the white to maybe something like that or you can play around with some of these settings to whatever you want to put it as so maybe i'll do something like that i think that looks pretty cool and then what we need to do is we need to change the mode to screen and then what we can do is now we can add some more glow on top of that and so now we've got a glow on that edge as well and i think that looks pretty cool so the final effect on here is if we add an adjustment layer and we can do two things like really if you want to add some noise uh, noise would be good to, to put in here just using the stock uh, plugin but there is a plugin that uh, I've been using in the past called Dehancer and if we open up the film looks and if I go to this ectochrome uh, kind of setting I think it just ties it all together and you've got this nice kind of 3D look with this kind of grainy um, kind of area over here. Uh, there are some things that I would change. I would probably uh, change the amount of grain. I'd bring that down. Um, maybe I'd add some bloom in there as well uh, and also some vignette. And then the final thing is I'm just gonna increase the size of the grain as well. So. Maybe I'll just bump that up to about 10. So anyway, so there you have it. Um, that is a short tutorial on how to add 3D text using Element 3D um, and putting it all together inside of your composition. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.